right, people, brace yourselves for a cinematic thrill ride that's hotter than wasabi on a summer day. High and Low the movie isn't just a film, it's a swagger-filled symphony of raw action, jaw-dropping visuals, and beats that hit you harder than a rogue biker in Tokyo traffic with cool gangs, epic fights, and catchy music. This movie is the first original film of the High and Low franchise. This movie is based on the manga series by the movie features a large ensemble cast of actors and singers from various groups such as Exile Tribe, NCT 127, The Rampage, Fantastics, Ballistic Boys, etc. They play the roles of five gangs that rule a town called Sword, San no Rengokai, White Rascals, Oya Kuku, Rude Boys, and Daruma Ika. They used to be under the control of a legendary group called Mugen, but after Mugen disbanded, they became independent and formed an alliance to protect their town from other threats. The movie starts with a flashback of how Mugen was defeated by the Amamiya brothers, two mysterious and powerful fighters who refused to submit to their will. Then, the movie jumps to the present day, where a new threat emerges as a Yakuza organization called Kuryu Group tries to take over Sword. They team up with the Korean mafia called Shansaw and two other gangs, Doubt and Mighty Warriors. They hire a ruthless assassin named Suzaki Ryo to kill the leaders of the five sword gangs. The five sword gangs have to join forces to fight back against their enemies and defend their pride and glory. Imagine a world where gangs rule the roost and street cred is the only currency that matters. Now toss in a conflict that could make Godzilla look like a pet lizard. It's a tale of turf wars, loyalty, and a bunch of dudes who are way too stylish to be engaging in this much chaos. Seriously, these guys could probably start a fashion revolution in the middle of a shootout. The movie is full of action, drama, and comedy as we follow the lives and struggles of the gang members and their leaders. The fight scenes are well choreographed and exciting, with a lot of variety and creativity. The movie also has a lot of humor and heart, as we see the bonds between the gang members, as well as their interactions with other characters from different gangs. The movie also pays homage to the original manga series by featuring some familiar faces and references, say hello to a lineup of actors who bring charisma to the table like it's a potluck dinner. You've got the brooding badasses, the suave strategists, and the lovable rogues, it's like a buffet of personalities, and you won't be able to resist digging in. And let's talk about their outfits for a sec, it's like they raided the closets of a high-end fashion show and decided to mix Gucci with brass knuckles, the cast is impressive, with many talented actors and singers who bring their charisma and talent to their roles. They also perform some of the songs in the soundtrack, which are catchy and energetic. Some of the standout performances are Iwata Tokunoi as Cobra, the leader of San no Rengokai, Akira as Kohaku, the former leader of Mugen. Tokahiro as Amamiya Mosoki, one of the Amamiya brothers, Kubota Masotaka as Smokey, the leader of Rude Boys, Hayoshi Kento as Hayuga Norahaiza, the leader of Daruma Ika, Yamada Yuki as Murayama Yoshiki, the leader of Oyakuku, Kuraiki Keiji as Rocky, the leader of White Rascals, Seungri as Lee, the leader of Shansaw, Ellie as Ice, the leader of Mighty Warriors, and Anaki as Nine, Ryu's right hand man. Hold on to your eardrums, because the soundtrack is an auditory adrenaline rush. The beats hit you like a sonic punch to the gut, elevating every fight scene, every chase, and every dramatic moment to a whole new level of intensity. You might catch yourself bobbing your head even when there's no action on screen, it's that infectious cinematography. More like eye candy on steroids. The visuals are a blend of neon lit streets, gritty back alleys, and slow motion sequences that make you wonder if time has taken a vacation. The camera angles are as dynamic as the characters, and the action sequences are so well choreographed that you'll be tempted to join in with your popcorn for some synchronized munching. High and Low the movie isn't just a film, it's a cinematic roller coaster that pulls you in and doesn't let go until you're breathless and craving for more. With a plot that's equal parts adrenaline and heart, a cast that could make even stone-faced statues crack a smile, a soundtrack that's music to your fight scene loving ears, and visuals that are a treat for your eyeballs, this movie is like a high-speed chase for your senses, the movie has some flaws that might bother some viewers. For one thing, the movie has too many characters to keep track of, and some of them don't get enough development or screen time. The story is also predictable and cliched at times, with some plot holes and inconsistencies. The movie also relies too much on fan service and nostalgia, which might alienate some newcomers or casual viewers who are not familiar with the drama series or the franchise. Overall, High and Low the movie is a movie that will satisfy fans of the series and the genre. It is a fun and entertaining ride that will keep you on the edge of your seat. It is not a masterpiece or a groundbreaking film, but it is a solid and enjoyable sequel that does justice to its predecessors. If you like action-packed movies with cool characters and catchy music, you should give this movie a try you won't regret it.
So, gear up, pop some popcorn, and let the streets of Tokyo take you on a wild ride that'll have you shouting encore as the credits roll. This isn't just a movie, it's a one-way ticket to Coolness Town, and trust me, you won't want to miss the ride. <laughs>